This morning, we are going to receive power. Power is going to be deployed to us. And the servant of God that God is going to use at this moment is a proven and tested general of the kingdom. He is the senior pastor of Holy Ghost Temple. The regional overseer of the Accra North region. People of God, with a shout, help me receive the ministry of Prophet Christopher Yao Anno. Hallelujah. 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 I think we need to rejoice well. We need to rejoice over the passing God has done, over what God is doing, and over what God is going to do. Rejoice! Just rejoice! In the midst... Look, you don't know the secret of rejoicing. The joy of the Lord is the strength of the believer. Anytime you're getting weak, let the joy of the Lord boil out of your heart. Now! Ha! Yes, until rejoice, just scream, shout, praise him. Oh, thank him for the great wife. Just do that. I know yokes will be broken. Hallelujah. Thank you. Be seated. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. We will, I wanted to encourage your friends that Saturday's retreat, they shouldn't miss it. From what happened, it's different watching it. Yes, you are blessed when you watch it. But if you are here, there's a certain type of presence. So, as much as you can, don't and never miss these meetings. I will continue uh, with what I started last week. Uh, last, last week I started uh, with Ezekiel who was taken into the spirit and God showed him a hopeless situation. God put a question to him and asked him, can this leave me while God have his own answer? And he says, God, you have the answer. And God showed him how to bring that uh, the answer to pass. It is through the prophetic word. He said them prophesy after he did that something great happened and what then happened was that the bones became a great army then I will read from verse I will read from verse 4 verse 4 he says Again, he said to me, prophesy on these bones for my time. I will not just go on. I will just read the 11, the few, the last part to the 14. Uh, uh, he said, the 11, he said, after it became a, a, an army, the Lord has said, then he said to me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They indeed say, our bones are dry. Our hope is lost. And we ourselves are cut off. Verse 12, listen. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out from your graves and bring you into the land of Israel then you shall know that I am the Lord. When I have opened your graves, O oh my people, and brought you up from my, your graves, I will put my spirit in you, 
and you shall live and I will place you in your own land then you shall know that I am the Lord your God the Lord has spoken it and performed it says the Lord hallelujah it is great and he asking to prophesy again and there are six things I would like us to know which I believe that God want to uh, uh, do. He said I will open your graves and I will cause you to rise up. Death. Number one, I will open your graves. Number two, I will cause you to rise up from your graves. Number three, I will bring you into the land of Israel. Number four, I will put my spirit in you. Number five, you shall live. And number six, I will place in you, in your hand, uh, I will place you in your own land. Hallelujah. And that is what God is going to do for all of us. He says he's going to open your graves. A grave is a place where dead bodies are buried, isn't it? Once you are in the grave, your vision is dead. Your aspirations are gone. In the grave, your talent can never be used. Most of us are in our grave. It's a place of hopelessness. A place where nobody can gain anything out of you. Most of us are struggling and in the grave. You cannot help yourself. You are only awaiting for maggot to eat you. God says that I will bring you out of your grave. The thing that covers you, that makes you helpless, that kills your vision and kills your dream and takes control over your health. This morning, God is prophesying to you and speaking to you that I will do what? I'll open your grave. Oh, hallelujah. It is a place. The grave is a place of limitation. Once you get there, you are limited. You are limited to do what you're supposed to do. That is your end. But this morning, you will break forth out of every limitation and be able to reach out by the word the Lord. Anything limiting you and keeping you and have kept you under, you shall be released today. The grave shall be open. Hallelujah. Oh my, there is joy in my heart. There is joy in my heart. Like the army of Israel, many of Christians we find ourselves in a place of limitation. The Lord is giving you, giving us a sure word. That he will open our graves. I say he will open our graves. This indicates that the army of Israel are going to be liberated from any form of limitation spiritual limitation, physical limitation, financial limitation, even your health, anything that limits you in any other, in any way. God is going to set us free from that. Hallelujah. Then secondly, dead people in the grave don't make the opportunity to exhibit their ability. They can't execute their vision. They are totally cut off from the world. If you are cut off from this world, the wealth of this world, the things of the, what you ought to get today, you will come out of your grave. The grave is open. The second prophecy, I love the second prophecy. The second prophecy, he says that the Lord said, prophesied the army was that they will 
rise from the grave. The grave is not only going to be open. If it is open and you are still there, it is nothing. Your the limitation will be taken off your hand and you will rise up. You will rise up from, I'm speaking to somebody who have been kept under certain limitation. The limitation, the lead is taken out and now you are going to rise up. You are going to rise up from where you are to a higher place. Look, within these 40 days, men and women, we are going to rise up. Whatsoever keeps us under, we will rise up. Hallelujah. You will rise up from your marriage type problem. You will rise up from the sin that holds you. You will rise up for the things that keeps you under control. You are now going to rise up. Hallelujah. Oh, these prophetic words are great and I love them. In this season of our 40 days of prayer and fasting, and fasting the word of the Lord to us is that we will rise up again. Look, if you've been condemned, if you've been just put on the shelf, off the shelf, today your God attention is coming upon you. You will rise up again. The spirit of the Lord is speaking that men and women are going to rise up. In this season, it will be a season of a new beginning. It will be a season of a fresh start. No matter how you have failed, God says you will rise up again. Your businesses might have collapsed, but God says you will rise up again. Your marriage might have collapsed, God says you will rise up again. Don't give up. God is bringing the word of hope to you. The spirit of the Lord is speaking. Doors are going to be open and you will rise up again. As individual, we are going to rise up again. As a church, we will rise up again. Businessmen, you shall rise up again. In every niche, any place, our country shall rise up again. The word of the Lord says in Isaiah 60 verse 1 of 3 that arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth and take darkness the people, but the Lord will arise upon you and his glory will be seen upon you and nations shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. This condition seems to be what we are going through. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth as if the entire world, something is happening. Everywhere. As if there are some forces that is attacking all nations. Darkness. One after the other. Things are becoming as if, how can we come out of this situation? You look around as if you can't come out. You don't see your way. We are confused. Total darkness. But there is a solution. In time like this, the church is the one that will lighten the area. I prophesy unto you that your light shall appear in darkness even if it is thick and you can't see through. Light is coming. Light is coming. Light is coming. Light is coming. The glory of the Lord will be seen upon you. And nations shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of Hora Maka Sabrasta, Leka Sabra Imo Oba of your rising. Kings shall come to you says the Lord. This shall be your portion. Come. 
bros keep ya zalakia and soon soon very soon very soon very soon kabara say proceed very soon kaba the next said i will bring you into the land of israel the land of israel is a place of life the graveside is the place of the dead the land of Israel is referred numerously in the Bible that the place that flows with milk and honey. God is bringing you that place in the midst of darkness, hardship, and difficulties. See, most of the time, the prophetic word comes to change situations. It doesn't look at the situation before God speaks. Sometimes God sees the opposite and he speaks what can change the opposite. So this time, anytime you are feeling that things are difficult, it means that God wants to use you to do something. Opportunities are coming. Hokapa. That land the reason why is a place you are going to flourish. Plants will flourish there. The soil will be good. The land is a fertile land. You reap when you sow. There are places when you reap, you don't sow. You don't, when you sow, you don't reap. You put in and put in. But this land where God is bringing us, it's like a fertile land. Everything grows green and fresh there. This is your time. Then, quickly, the and the Lord in this one season, the Lord is bringing us into a place of prosperity. Oh, your amen is weak. Yeah. I said, don't look at the condition. When I mention prosperity, you look at the condition. No, look at the word. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is going to place us, bring us into a place of prosperity. A fruitful place. A place of flourishment. He is going to flourish whatever you do. A people of God shall reap in abundance. We shall reap whenever we sow. We shall not lose. We shall no longer labor in vain. The land of Ghana will favor us. The land of America will favor you. The land of Europe will favor you. The land of Asia will favor you. Everywhere you are, where God has put you, that land shall favor you. Favor is resting upon your life. Favor is resting upon your life. Grace is resting upon your life. Oh, because the spirit of the Lord is upon you. Yes. And he has anointed you to make it in that area. This is the word of the Lord unto you. The fifth, ha, hallelujah, very soon. The fifth prophecy, you shall live. Wow. He said, what? Tell somebody, I shall live. Tell yourself, speak to yourself now that I shall live. That is another prophetic word. If you are here and things are threatening your life, your health, today, I say you shall live. Say the Lord, you shall live. 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 Parasaba isha remaka shokama beje itabo ikiara para istakaya. Just a minute. As a sign, one around here, Emifa, 
et mes femmes. Come here. You are three. Who is? Is it Agu? Agu? Aguzu? Agudu? Agudu? Good. I don't want to just make TT so or CC so. I want to this thing. As a sign, you shall not. You are afraid your life will end. I don't know who church you go to. She comes to your church. Yeah. I don't know you. You won't die. You won't die. That fear and that way that comes to you that you will not live long. Today I prophesy long life unto you. According to the word of the Lord, you shall live paraisa. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Yeah, just clap. Wow. Kama, Zalaka, Brada, Shkimahata, Shkurianda. The two ladies, take your miracle. It is yours too. According to the word of the Lord. Amen and amen. Thank you. This is part of it. Hallelujah. It covers a lot of people. It takes a lot of people. Those who fear their businesses will die. Those who fear the future. Today I prophesy unto you that you shall live. 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 Ah, you shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. Today I am taking it in a different angle. And the next time I'm seeing people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see some people getting healed right now. Some pains. Some diseases. Are living. And you're feeling it. That the thing is gone. If you feel it's gone, run forward here. Quickly. I want to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Something is happening. Thank you, is thank you, thank you. You feel it as a club. Come, 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 come. Thank you. A miracle are happening. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. That pain, that pain is gone. That pain is gone. Just be clapping. It's going to leave you. It's going to leave your body. It's going to leave your body. The pain is going to leave your body. Try it again. Some things are happening. I see. One, two, three, four, five. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just come forward. Yeah. Quickly, 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 quickly. Tap my hand up. Shut that pain. It's gone. Shut that pain. It's gone. Shut that pain. It's gone. You can't find it again. Just run quickly. One, two, three, four, five. I'm singing it. Ramakaya. Be clapping. Be clapping. You just try it again. Try that place. And shut that pain. Whether it is there. Do what you could not do. He said, Prophet, you didn't pray. Yes, I didn't pray. God present us here. Run right now. Right now. Something has left your body. Thank you. The pain is gone. You brought a sickness here, but you are going home here.
I should clap. That I, I should clap. I should clap. Wow. People are being set free. Fresh oil upon you. Fresh oil upon you. You've got times and seasons in your head. Ha! Just worship him. You call for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. Call me your own. You've got time, say. You've got time, say. Seasons in your head. Say you call for life. You call for life. Out of darkness. You don't need a man. You don't need a man to be the God. you desire. Did you desire it? What does he do? There's an oil of anointing. I sense you have to, when I was preaching on the breakthrough, on the grief, I said there's a limitation to the rank in which you are in. Lieutenant Colonel. Yeah. You ought to go to the next, which is Colonel. But there is a limitation. And until there is a, a programming in the military for the door to be open, that is where you're going to be. But that limitation shall be broken. Yeah. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place, there's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God, say, you are God from beginning to the end. There's no place, there's no place for argument. Hey, you are God all by yourself. going to continue next week. But before I sit down, what 
what's wrong with you? You are sick. You came with a sickness. So where is the sickness? It's gone. Did anybody pray for you? Go and tell other people what God has done for you. Go and this. You who have seen it, go and tell other people that just coming to sit in the presence and at such a meeting, you'll never go the same. God bless you.